guys, look what we just found. Dang. I knew there had to be one in here. Dude, that thing's massive. That thing is massive. Maybe two year old, two years ago. Yeah. Dude, that guy's. He looks pretty narrow, though. Yeah. Narrow. Dang. Damn. Should we pack that baby out? Oh, I'm taking this. Hell yeah! I was, I was about to say, you better pack that thing out. <laughs> all right. Like at, least, at least some shed or something. No, that's all. I'll, dude, halfway here, I was starting looking for sheds. Dude, the, the second side's got to be around here. That's sweet. That's a seven point antler. Dude, that guy's G2s are crazy. Just imagine how like... Dude, look at his bases, man. Dude, his base is pure, dude. Dude, that thing is a mature bull, man. Yeah. Where is that guy? Dude, you think that that's the seven point you guys saw? Yeah, it's, yeah, it might be. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It could be, right? Oh yeah, definitely. Dude, the second side's gotta be here somewhere. Big ball here. <laughs> Big ball down. <laughs> Dude, that's crazy. That's awesome. Definitely. Grouse got eaten here. This is what we call bushwhacking.
walking for the past two, three hours. We finally bumped our first elk better right here. He went crashing down that way. So I'm gonna mark this on my GPS real quick. And then we can keep on going. This part is really green. Over here is really dry. You can tell there's moisture here. But right here it seems to like it's just a little dried up. But you can obviously tell by just by the moss and the, the greenery that this is a place where water used to exist or is seasonally existent. So right now we are literally just bushwhacking. This is how we find new new areas to hunt. A lot of people think that you know, we go the first time, we just literally go find it. That's not the point. This is literally what we do. We go through the, the nastiest of nastiest terrains, quote unquote bushwhacking, and we just hopefully at the end of the, the end of the journey or sometime during the journey, we come across a water hole or a bedding area or some some place where the elk are really Found a shed, so that's a good sign. Bumped a cow elk, that's a good sign. A lot of water here. Found a little dried up creek. The big creek's right over here. This is all dried up. It's probably existent during the springtime. That's the water right there. There we go. I wonder if there's fishes in here. Woo. Elk are on this side. Taking a quick little break right here by the little stream just washed my face which felt absolutely good so this water is as pure as you can get we're just gonna wash up and we're gonna continue our hike of finding water holes bedding areas new potential spots to kill an elk so that's what we're doing just enjoying it we're not really elk hunting we're more it's more of preparing for our elk hunt even though it's already elk hunting season just a quick little tip for you guys I apologize for the noise of the, the stream but when you guys come to a stream like this and you're gonna basically use the water, basically wash your face, wash your hand, even uh, fill up your water bottle, even though you're gonna probably want to, you know, clean it before you drink it, what you wanna do is you wanna go to the, the fastest moving part of the stream, like right here. You guys see how there's a lot of current? Like, this is where you would want to wash everything, you know? You wash, it goes downstream, wash, goes downstream. What you want to avoid is like stale parts like this. Survival tips. So we're gonna pull a prank on the family real quick. So using this this shed we found earlier we're gonna wrap electrical tape around it and make it look like we tagged out we're just gonna take really close <laughs> you gotta take it really really close just like how josh posted his photo yeah but he zoomed it in he zoomed into the tag part They got, they're probably gonna be so smooth. <laughs>
got back to the water around, around 3. I don't know the exact time, but basically fell asleep. Because I, I was basically running on two, two to three hours of sleep today. So when we sat there, I just naturally fell asleep. And when I woke up, my cousin was gone. <laughs> so I was like, what the heck? Did I just get ditched? So I think I heard him bugling down over here somewhere. So I, I slowly worked my way down, just cow calling and bugling. So I, I don't know exactly where he is. I'm going to stay here, maybe listen to try and locate some bulls as it's getting dark. So who knows, we might get lucky. Hopefully that guy shows up again. Alright guys, so right now it's been about two hours. So earlier I didn't really do a good job of explaining, but we come back to the car, arrowed a cow. So we left her for about two hours, so hopefully uh, she's down when we go back and get her. I think we heard a crash, but didn't want to push her, so right now we are going to... Well, right now we're back at the car, so we're gonna cook up some ramen real quick, get some warm stuff inside of me. Today we were running on like three hours of sleep, and and uh, we barely ate anything today. We ate one meal today. That's about it. So we're gonna uh, heat up the propane real quick, and yeah, guys. Hopefully outbound. So I'll keep you guys posted. After we eat, we'll we'll start on the blood trail again. So keep you guys posted. All right, guys, we are on the trail. Yeah. You guys, I can't describe my emotions right now, but we are hot on our trail. Guys, oh damn, baby. Oh my goodness. That thing's huge. Oh my gosh, she's way bigger than I thought. <laughs> guys, elk down. First elk, baby. Dude, she was dead earlier, bro. That's dude, she yeah, she's kind of frozen already. Elk down, baby. Elk down. Yep, we did it. Way to go, dude. Thanks <laughs> for everything, man. Oh, it's all good, man. Come the go. hard work starts here, but we gotta take some pictures. Yep. What I'm doing right now is I am gonna notch my first ever elk tag in my life. I've never shot an elk before, so all right. We have my black bear tag out right here, right here. So we shot it to us today. The I need to check. All right, so today is Thursday, September 14th, 2017. And so, we're gonna go to September. I don't know if you guys are focused, but. Right there, all right, we're gonna go September. September and 14th, right here. There we go, guys. My first ever notch tag, September. 14th right there. Tagged out, baby. Yeah. Woo, she's all bloody. Oh shit. Let's put some blood on first. Oh. Guys, this guy, this this girl isn't the big six, six point I missed on opening day, but I'm more than just, I'm more than happy to have harvested her. So, this is, we're probably gonna be doing this all night, but this is the, the part where you're the least stressed until you start packing her out, but we're super close, to, we're, we're not super, but we're close to the car, so two of us, we got this. All right guys, still skinning the elk. Here's one of my shots right here. Broke my arrow, I think I was either my first or second shot. It was right there. Basically in the money, but like I said, if it's not going down right there, I have another shot and take it. In. All right, guys, it is super cold right now. Finally done with the elk. These are all the test signs and stuff like that. The bones, like we have, we take as much meat as off as, on the bone as we can. This is our meat pile that we have, we have to haul out. Right now it's about 2.30 in the morning. Probably done by maybe four or five in the morning. Trip one of maybe three is complete. Bag, truck, right here. 
time to go back after we sort this out. All right, guys. Today is the 15th. It's around 10:30, 11 o'clock in the morning right now. Got back to the car. We started sleeping around 5 o'clock in the morning. We took about a five-hour sleep nap, I guess. And then we came to the stream to rinse off some of the meat, and then we are done. We're gonna go home. Super exhausted, but didn't really give you guys a formal, formal goodbye of this video. So thanks for watching, guys, and stay tuned for the upcoming hunting videos. Thank you.